Verse 13 of, sec, or excuse me, of 1 Peter chapter 2, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that the well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, and honor the king. <clears throat> as believers, as children of God, our <clears throat> responsibility, our interaction is to submit ourselves to every ordinance. And that is difficult. It is. I mean, that goes down to how fast you drive the road, especially with them empty. Obeying every ordinance. We've, we've submitted ourselves to those ordinances. I know there are people that have got on Facebook and got on different things that have argued the fact of churches having to follow parameters because we've been asked not to gather like we normally do to help sp not spread the virus. And they've argued and they fuss, but I am looking at Scripture. It's submit yourselves to every ordinance. The ordinance we have right now is a shelter in place. Our responsibility is to submit at that level. Unfortunately, whether we like it or not, That's part of our how we need to act during afflictions and distresses and trouble and moments like this because this is what Scripture has said. This is the rules that we've been even placed on here is submitting ourselves to every ordinance. I'm going to go back to Romans chapter 13. Verse 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are, or, are ordained by God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power to do that which is good? For thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. We're in a time that we can't gather the way that we used to. None of us like it. Well, there may be some introverts out there in, in, in different areas that look at this, go, oh, I don't have a problem with this because then I don't have to interact. And that is true for them. But for the majority of us, we are struggling with this submit to the rules that says, listen, we have to give distance right now. Whether or not you agree with it or not, Scripture says we follow the ordinances. We submit to the higher powers. Because it, I love this. It says that the rulers, a true ruler with the right heart, let me throw that in there for a moment, aren't there to punish good men. It isn't to make our lives as good people. Following the word and understanding that to be in dismay. But it is to keep those with evil intentions at bay. The rules are set place not to punish good men, as Scripture says. But it clearly states that if we resist the powers, if we resist the ordinances, we're resisting the ordinance of God. 
Because if we believe, I'm throwing this out there, if we believe that God sets up and sets down those in leadership and in rule over, and they set a rule, then we still have to follow the ordinances because God set them in place for the people they currently are over. I love the, the question in here. Let me find it again. Uh, verse 3, for the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power, which to do which is good, and thou to, to do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same? Stating if you have good intentions, if you're doing things that are following the ordinances, you shouldn't be afraid. There's no reason to be. That in our good works, our good following the laws, the praise will come from the same people who are holding those that break the law responsible. As a former cop, everyone was always scared that we were going to do something against them, but if people would just obey the rules of the road, we wouldn't have pulled them over. If you obey, if you're not speeding, you're not getting pulled over. If you got your seatbelt on, you're not getting pulled over. Those things, if you obey the law, there weren't consequences. The law was written to keep those of evil intentions punishable or at bay to protect the rest of us. We're in a time that we've been asked to t- distance not on purpose like this, but distance. We've been asked to stay at home. We've been asked to shelter in place, to do our, to go out and about as, you know, we can go out and, and, and get out in nature because the sun is an amazing healing factor for viruses and stuff. But there were certain stipulations. How we're doing church right now is one of them. And to follow the ordinances so we are actually blessed and praised by those that set them up. I I watched a press release within the last 48 hours. I think it was Kemp's that made a statement of praising the churches that went to online or that made sure we had enough space for no more than 10 people, spaces between them of six feet or more. He was praising was He fulfilled scripture and didn't realize it maybe. That the same people were setting up the law to keep evildoers and think this thing at bay praised those that obeyed. That was in the scripture, wasn't it? These are how we should act in tribulations, in afflictions, in distress, even in oppression, by submitting to the rules. Verse 4. 